Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in New York City and today we're going to talk about is one of the not so fun side of New York City and that is the tourist traps and I'll be honest with you, some of the tourist traps here in New York City are actually well worth going to so uh, don't take this as a list of things you don't want to do when you come here because honestly yeah, you'll, you'll see most of these. I'll be like, you know, but it's still worth going to see and do. Like, starting off with the biggest tourist trap people talk about when they come here to New York City, Times Square. Yes, it is a total tourist trap with tourist trap restaurants and sites and shops and people trying to get you to take pictures with them for money and all kinds of stuff. But dang it, it is really part of New York. And I know a lot of bloggers and bloggers say, oh, you shouldn't go there. It's just no locals go there. And it's, oh, it's such a tourist trap. There's no reason to go there. You should still totally go there because it's part of the experience of coming to New York. New York City is going to Times Square, seeing the ball up there that's going to drop for the new year, seeing all the lights and all the flash and all the people there. It is a tourist trap, yes, but it's a tourist trap you need to go to. And honestly, the only tourist trap you need to avoid when you're there are the restaurants, because there's way better restaurants to go to with the shopping, because you can probably do a lot of the shopping there on home or online for less money. But honestly, the tourist trap you need to watch out for when you are there at Times Square are the buskers or the people that are dressed up, you know, whether it's Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, superhero, whatever, because they'll try to get into your pictures, or if you take picture of them, they want a tip, right? And I have this also in our scam video, but I also think it's a tourist trap because you're in a tourist destination, a tourist spot, and you're taking pictures around, and they try to trap you by jumping into your pictures. You're like, dude, that's not fair. You're like, that was cool, right? And so just be aware of that. Now, if you want to get their pictures, that's fine, but be ready to tip them, okay? Because that's how they make money. And if you do take the picture like on purpose and you don't tip them, don't be surprised if they have some choice words for you and follow you around for a bit, okay? Now, another tourist trap I have for you, and this is one that I really think you should do and people really love them, is the observation decks, okay? Now, I'm not saying don't go to the observation decks. I'm saying don't feel you have to go to all of the observation decks because there's so many great ones here from Old Faithful, the Empire State Building to Top of the Rock where you feel the city coming down on you to the, the edge. I mean, there's so many cool ones around. They're awesome. But it's also kind of a tourist trap because you're seeing a view of the city and you're paying money to go up some of these and you're like, oh, that was cool. That's another nice view. That's another nice view. And you're like, why did I waste all this time at a line to come up here when I have pretty much the same view I had at the last one I went to? Look, if you want to skip all the observation decks, go walk across the Brooklyn Bridge and then turn around when it's clear, not on a day like today where it's all foggy, turn back around and you'll see the beautiful skyline of New York right there. And best of all, walking across the bridge, it's free. Now, another tourist trap that really annoys me, and this is something I've talked about in other videos, is um, any shop that has an ATM inside of it because they take cash only. Because look, you're there, you're buying stuff, you got it all ready, it's up there, and you're not like gonna leave it there or not take the sandwich. You're like, oh, it's cash only. They're like, oh yeah, no problem, there's an ATM right there. And then you go and use the ATM and it has a fee on it. And you're like, wait, you're making money off the sandwich I bought from you. And now you're making another four bucks off me for your, or three bucks off me or whatever for me getting cash out. Oh, that for me, that's annoying, but it's also kind of a, a tourist trap because you're kind of trapped in that situation. So just be aware of it. That's all I always say is bring cash when you're here in New York City. This is like one of the only cities in the US that you really need to have cash to make your life easier. Now, another tourist trap that you're probably going to visit and you can't help yourself is any shop that goes over the top with the I Love New York souvenirs. Look, they're all over the city. You can get the I Love New York stuff anywhere. But here's the thing. You can get an I Love New York t-shirt that you will literally wear to like clean on the weekends and maybe go throw the football with your kids with. That's what you're going to wear every day. There's so much great shopping throughout the city, all over the city, that instead of buying the, the cheapy souvenir stuff that your friends are going to throw away, go buy other stuff like get yourself a nice dress get yourself a good jacket or, or go and buy things like that that you're going to enjoy and use versus the things from the tourist trap you know stuff that the t-shirts are going to shrink up and the the the, the statue of liberty's you know <laughs> torch is going to fall out of their hand like just just stay away from those you know because you kind of get trapped into going to them i mean they can be fun and they're fun to go into but just be aware that they are a tourist trap by definition because they're there to get tourists to come in when they're like oh three t-shirts for ten dollars you're like yeah but it's not the t-shirts you want just fyi it's the t-shirts that you don't want and then they're like oh the i love new york ones that's a lot more oh, oh, oh. you're like no, another tourist trap I find here are restaurants or, or sites that really sell themselves off of having been in a movie or been on a TV show or the focus in a book. 
And what happens is those places probably became famous because they were really had really good food or they had really good stuff there back in the day. But now, since they focus on selling themselves as part of a tour for fans of some TV show or some movie, they kind of gone away from their true calling of making really good food or being a really fun place to visit. And they're selling on that. So what you want to do, if there's a place that was in a movie you like, also read the reviews online because the words tourist trap pop up enough times, you know that maybe it's better for me not to go eat Italian food in Little Italy because it's overpriced, even though the food's still good, I should go somewhere else to eat the Italian food at a lower price and maybe a little bit tastier. And that's why I have to mention, you know, if you're going to Little Italy, some people call that a tourist trap. And it's not really a tourist trap because the food isn't great. I mean, there is good food there. It's just like, because that's where people go for the Italian experience of coming to New York City, they know that. And therefore, sometimes the prices are a little bit higher, let's say, than they should be for noodles and sauce, all right? So, so be aware of that. Now, I'm not saying don't go because it is a fun place to go with the shops, but they know who they are and you as a tourist should know that as well. So you're not taking advantage either. Now, another tourist trap, which is one that you can't help yourself to, is shopping on Fifth Avenue. Now, I'm not saying Fifth Avenue itself is a tourist trap. No, it's great. If you're here at Christmas time and you see the windows all done up, or heck, see the windows done up any time of the year. I mean, it's just a fantastic experience to window shop. Okay, looking at the stuff. The problem is when you actually go into shopping on Fifth Avenue, you're gonna be spending a lot more money than you thought you were because yes, you will, all right? So just, just be aware of that. You have other options out there, but just know that sometimes you get overwhelmed with just the beauty of the shops there that you feel like you have to buy something because you're kind of trapped in that moment of being a tourist. Now, if you're in Central Park, I gotta warn you about a couple tourist traps that are there. One are the pedicabs and believe me, you will hear them. Everyone will hear them with their booming music and they will come up like, hey, come on, it's like a Lamborghini. Come take a ride, it's great, come with us. And they'll sell it to you and try to get you to get in, right? The thing is, if you wanna do one, which is fine, make sure you're checking to figure out what the price is beforehand and look inside, because they have to list how much it is per minute. So you're not paying $150 for a 10 minute ride, okay? Because that does happen. So don't fall into that, check those things out. Something similar is the carriage rides. Now you see the carriage rides, the movies, and how beautiful it is. And it's very romantic to see, especially during the holidays, you see them going by like, oh, that's so nice. But it's just like anywhere, it's a tourist trap taking those carriages. You can see the same views walking around and taking it all in. And, and that's why I just want you to know that those are not cheap experiences. Like you could be spending a nice dinner with your family on that carriage ride, okay? And that's why sometimes I feel like we as tourists get stuck doing some of these things because we feel like we have to, not because we really want to or should, okay? But if you want to and you should, then go do it, all right? But I just want to give the heads up that those might be a little more costly than you thought, okay? And, and New York is just like any other city when it comes to tourist traps. You know, you've got the ones that are fun for families to do, but but sometimes it's just really touristy because the same thing everywhere you go, like the Madame Tussauds Wack Museums and the Ripley's Believe It or Not, the M&M Store, the Lego Store. Yes, they're all fun. They're all good to do, but they're kind of the same as what you have in their other stores, whether you're in Branson, Missouri, Las Vegas, or New York City. When you're in New York, you want to do more New York things. So go, instead of doing those, go to some of the great museums around here, the Natural History Museum or the, the, the Met or just exploring some of the smaller ones. There's so many cool museums to see that you don't want to get kind of stuck going to the ones that are more of a kind of a thing you'll see everywhere else. And, and also I think another thing with tourist traps, this is in general, and whenever there's a museum that's really trying to shock people to go there, like the Museum of Sex, which yes, the name really gets people going, oh, that sounds interesting, but it's probably not going to be as exciting as you think it should be. <laughs> Anyway, these are just some of the tourist traps that I've seen over my time coming here to New York. You know, and I'll be honest, all the things I've talked about, you can still do. You can still enjoy it. You'll be fine. But I just want you to be prepared when you are here so you make sure you have the best time possible when you come to the best city in the world. So have a great time when you come to New York. Bye.